Ah, I love the smell of fresh compost. And in fact, for many gardeners, the smell of compost is the signal that summer is here. Almost as much as seeing that first lemonade stand. But did you know that making compost is actually a lot like making lemonade? Lemonade! lemonade. Get your lemonade! Delicious lemonade! Ooh, I'll take a lemonade. Mm, that looks great. Organic matter is composed of carbon and nitrogen and a few other elements. But when a plant dies, we still have that dead plant there and it contains a lot of carbon in it. That's why we often refer to our dead plant material that we use in our compost, such as straw, wood shavings, and leaves as our brown material in composting. It has a lot of carbon in it and just a little bit of nitrogen but the ratio is much higher of carbon than it is nitrogen. And the same goes for newspaper as well. When we talk about green material, now that doesn't necessarily refer to the color because that also includes manure, which is high in nitrogen as well. The two main ingredients in composting is carbon and nitrogen. You see, when we're talking about decomposition and breaking down organic matter, we have to have the right ratio of carbon to nitrogen in order for those microorganisms that are responsible for decomposition to thrive. Let's say we're gonna make some fruit drinks. Now our finished drink is going to represent our ideal ratio of carbon to nitrogen and that perfect environment for those bacteria and microorganisms to grow and continue decomposition of our organic matter. Now, depending on which organic matter we use, we're gonna have a different ratio of carbon to nitrogen, just like you would have a different ratio of water to mix, depending on which drink mix you're using. But regardless, we're likely gonna have more carbon than nitrogen in all of our material. So here we've got some wood shavings. Wood shavings have a very high ratio of carbon to nitrogen. They have a lot of carbon in there and they would take a long time for them to break down. So we wanna add a little nitrogen in order to speed up that process. Now, when we make our drink here, the water is going to represent that large volume of carbon. So in order to make that perfect sweet spot for those microorganisms to grow, we're gonna to have to add a lot of drink mix. In fact, we're gonna to have to add two whole cups. This kind of represents the nitrogen that we're gonna to have to add to those wood shavings in order to get it to that sweet spot. Now let's say you might have some straw to add into your compost. Again, straw has a pretty high ratio of carbon to nitrogen, but less so than the wood shavings. So it's not gonna take quite as long, but we still wanna add some nitrogen to it in order to break it down faster. So here, the amount of carbon is reflected by the amount of water that we have. And of course, we gotta add a little nitrogen, which is represented by our smaller amount of mix. What if you had some grass clippings? Well, again, the carbon to nitrogen ratio is a lot lower than your wood shavings and even lower than your straw here. In fact, it's so good of a ratio that you could just incorporate this directly into your garden. A lot of times you might hear people say, just mulch your grass and leave it on your lawn and that will add a little bit of nitrogen into your landscape. You can also use cover crops that you incorporate directly into your garden as well. And so for fresh lawn clippings, you don't really need to even do anything to them or add them to any compost. In fact, it's like a ready-made drink. Now, of course, just like green lawn clippings are ready to go directly into the garden, if you wanted to incorporate those into your compost, you could to speed up that decomposition process. Now, we've represented that here by our ready-made unsweetened tea that we could drink as it is if we wanted to. But just like we could add our lawn clippings into the compost to speed up the process, if we wanted to add a little sugar to our unsweetened tea, well, that might make it a little bit sweeter also. 
Just like different fruit drinks have different ratios in order to mix them, different organic matters that you add into your compost also require different ratios when you're mixing your compost. Now, there are other factors to consider as well. In fact, the size of the material is important to consider. Just like a cube of sugar takes longer to dissolve than granulated sugar, the size of your material that you incorporate into your compost, if it is a large wooden chunk, then that's going to take longer to break down than smaller wood shavings. So keep that in mind as well. The other thing to think about is just like you would occasionally stir your fruit punch, you want to make sure to occasionally stir your compost so that you know that it is well mixed. Like the many different ways there are to make different fruit drinks, there are many different ways to make compost also based off of the organic matter that you have available. But regardless, when you have it finished, it's so refreshing for you and the garden. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.